All right, well, Attorney General Loretta Lynch may be trying to laugh it off, but the uproar over her meeting with Bill Clinton is no joke. The Attorney General today refusing to recuse herself from the Clinton email case, despite her private 30-minute meeting with former President Bill Clinton. Florida Republican uh, Congressman Ron DeSantis is a member of the House Judiciary Committee. Uh, there's always been an appearance of a conflict of interest here, and special counsel was urged long ago. It appears after that meeting it's even more needed. What is your take? Oh, absolutely. I've been calling for a special counsel for months now, maybe too late given the elections coming up. But she had a conflict with Bill Clinton even before the meeting because Clinton appointed her U.S. attorney in Brooklyn in the 90s. That's a major appointment. The idea that she's just going to indict the guy's wife after he gave her such an honor, I thought that created the appearance of a conflict. And then, of course, you have President Obama, her current boss, has said over and over again, there's nothing to see here. Hillary didn't damage national security. And now you do this 30-minute meeting in private. They told the FBI not to bring any phones or recording devices. That is absolutely outrageous that she would have done that. That clearly creates uh, an appearance of impropriety. And the American people are just not going to have confidence in whatever decision is ultimately rendered. On one hand, it, it, it's, it's easy to make the case that, well, here she was, her plane lands and... And, and she hears that former President Bill Clinton would like to speak with her. And naturally, it sounds like, okay, well, then I should, we'll, we'll have a conversation. However, her judgment is being called into question for obvious reasons that you are stating. Shouldn't an attorney general just have better judgment when it comes to something like that, plain and simple? Well, absolutely. And you notice this came out because she was asked about it by a reporter. She didn't volunteer that this meeting had happened. And in fact, she didn't necessarily want it to be made public based on how the FBI uh, acted. So this was not the right decision to make. And we've had questions about whether this decision was going to be above board or whether the fix is in for months now. And then to go ahead with that meeting with President Clinton, look, if, there, if the FBI uh, recommends a case and she doesn't go ahead with it, the cloud that's going to hang over Hillary Clinton is going to be so dark and it's going to be an absolute earthquake in this election. So is this a major turning point in the campaign for her? Well, I think we'll have to see what uh, FBI Director Comey recommends. That's going to be the million-dollar question. I think at this point, given what Lynch has done, given the other conflicts that we've identified, if Comey recommends this and they do have the goods on Secretary Clinton and we can point to people who've done less and have been prosecuted and then she gets off, I think that that's just going to be a major, major uh, item. I think it will totally upend the presidential campaign. Here's the thing. Uh, as a Republican, I would rather the case be dealt with on the merits. She's probably the weakest candidate they can run. So getting her indicted may be bad for the party, but it's, it's the right thing to do if she's guilty. Well, and on this network and other networks and publications all over today, uh, it was even hard for a lot of Democrats to, to defend this. Um, it just didn't look very good. All right, Congressman Ron DeSantis.